so, so John, you deserve this. You have made the gay community a incredibly much better place because of your long-term commitment and focus on one thing, and that's winning and destroying the enemy. <laughs> Thank you. That's all. Oh, did they want to do photos? We'll do that later. Okay. Well, thank you so much. This is kind of overwhelming for me. Um, I have some notes. <laughs> um, I mean, it's it's amazing. It's amazing to be uh, introduced by Tim. It's an amazing introduction, and uh, we've been comrades and friends. It's been uh, just an incredible journey, and I owe so much to him and his partner Scott for the, what we've accomplished. I want to thank all of you for being here. Um, I have as many friends and family that came from around the country to be here. And uh, um, it's um, just kind of amazing to see all the familiar faces here. Someone told me tonight, boy, I have a lot of friends in New York, I haven't, because I haven't lived here that long. But I don't know, it's amazing, uh, I really do. Uh, my sister Rhonda and uh, my uh, brother-in-law Bill are here, and my partner Slobodan and his mother is here, and um, several of my uh, board members from the foundation and some of our staff are here. And Kevin Jennings uh, is this incredible new part of Arcus for the last two and a half years. And um, it's just without the support and encouragement, um, <laughs> And the advice that I've had, you know, I really couldn't accomplish what I have. And, um, you know, I certainly wouldn't be up here. So I guess it's just, the, it's part of the whole Glisten thing. It's you need your peers and family and community to be behind you. Um, since Glisten's about education and, and schools, I thought I would just describe a little bit about my school experience. And um, it was a long time ago. Um, I um, was, went to public schools in Kalamazoo, Michigan, and uh, back in, <laughs> um, yeah, Kalamazoo. And um, I still remember, you know, going to the middle school. We started in seventh grade in those days, and I was almost the smallest kid in the whole school. And, Um, I was just a really shy and, and uh, um, kid. That, um, it was just—it was a scary place to be. But I was uh, um, curious about everything. I wanted to learn, and I already knew I was gay at that time. And it was uh, just uh, you know the whole experience of knowing what to do with my sexuality and everything. It was, it was a weird time. And um, I was certainly not one of the cool kids. So I, I uh, suffered a lot of teasing and bullying. And, um, and then I, I, we also, there was great racial tensions back in those days in the early 70s. Uh, you know, Martin Luther King had been assassinated like two years before I went to seventh grade. And, um, it, it was there were lockdowns and riots at my school, so the whole environment was was insane. And uh, but I, the, that was the bad part. But the good part were the the, uh, the teachers that I had. <laughs> Thank you. So, um, so I. I um, Need to speed this up, probably. Um, I had some amazing teachers, and uh, like I had a teacher, Mrs. Lyons, and Miss Witt, and Mr. Fry, people that um, really created a kind of a virtual sanctuary in the classroom, and where you could go and you know be happy about learning. Um, you could get away from the tensions in the hallways, and and kind of be yourself. And I, th and I think that's why I supported GLSEN, because this is what GLSEN's trying to do. It's really appealed to me. So decades later, 
in the 1990s, I finally was out as a gay man and uh, made the decision to focus my philanthropy on, on LGBT equality. Um, but I had no idea how I was going to do that. Um, and, uh, but I heard about this conference called Outgiving that uh, Mr. Gill here started, and I went to it, and um, it changed my life. I, he has, uh, he's a, an amazingly um, rational and, you know, calculating, maybe, <laughs> person. Um, and he, he kind of, I learned uh, got a, a deliberate, focused and calm kind of philanthropy that's based on strategies and goals. And it was transformational for me. Um, it was also at Outgiving that I first met Kevin Jennings. And, uh, um, you know, he, he uh, his ideas just seemed crazy to me um, at first. This audacious idea of going into schools, gay people trying to talk to students. Um, you know, it's like in those days, um, well, this is like 15 years ago, it, it, it seemed like the, least, the last place we would be welcome to work in. And I suppose that's still true today. But uh, um, it just, uh, it's exactly what we have to be doing. It, we have to go to the heart of the problem and not be afraid of doing that. And um, I believe schools should be a place for joyful learning, self-discovery, and freedom of expression. And that, that's what we're fighting for here. And I wonder if there had been GSAs when I was um, in school, um, you know, maybe I wouldn't have waited another 20 years to come out as a... Um, so I started supporting uh, Glisten little by little and more and more and, and then made some really big grants. And um, I really would like to urge all of you to ramp up your giving to Glisten. I just think of, there's so many schools that don't have GSAs right now and, uh, and all the other amazing programs that Glisten does. Um, and I, I really feel like we can credit Glisten for so much of the success we've seen in our movement in the last two decades. We, we now have like this, I mean, you're seeing it tonight, uh, this new generation of brave young people who are everywhere in our country, literally changing our culture. So um, just finally, uh, I just want to thank Eliza and congratulations to Matthew and uh, to the um, amazing students and teachers that are here tonight. I, I believe, uh, I just sincerely want to say that all of you are, are so inspiring to me. Um, and uh, being honored here tonight is, is an incredible experience for me. It's really meaningful. So thank you very, very much. <laughs>